At this point, you've added all of the views you need for Bullseye, but the app looks somewhat compressed. To fix this, it's time to bring in some spacer views into your app. As their name implies, these views are designed to fill up space. When you put a spacer view into an H stack, it expands to fill all the remaining horizontal space. Let's try this out in the app. All right, so let's use some spacers to space out this final row a bit. The way you do that is click the plus button here, and there's a view called spacer, and you can just drag the spacer where you want it. So we want some space between the start over button and the score button. Now by default, it puts it on the same line, so I'm just gonna hit enter so it's actually on a separate line. And you can see here that the spacer just expands to fill all the available space. And this doesn't really look that great yet, but let's add a few more spacers to space things out. So we do want the score and the placeholder right next to each other, but after between those, we want a space. And then after the round of the 999, we want another space. So if I put all those spacers together, it's starting to be nicely spread out. Now you may wonder, oh no, the start over button and this info button, they're too close to the edge of the screen. But actually remember, this view is inside a larger amount of space when you actually run it inside the simulator. So it's a little bit misleading. So if I run that and see what it looks like in the actual simulator here, you can see there's actually some extra space around the edges here, so it still looks fine. All right, so now that we know how to add spacer, which is very simple, just write the word spacer with parentheses after it, let's add a couple more spacers between all each row here. So between the target row and the slider row, we'll add a spacer. Between the slider row and the button row, we'll add a spacer. And between the button row and the score row, we'll add a spacer. And we'll resume automatic updating. Almost good, except I don't like how put the bullseye as close as you can to is so close to the top of the screen. So I'm actually gonna add a spacer up here as well to move that down. Ah, that looks a lot better. Let me build and run one more time to see what it looks like. Okay, it's looking pretty good, but this is a little close to the bottom of the screen. So I'm gonna show you another thing you do instead of just spacers, there's another thing you can do called padding. So let me stop running this, resume the automatic preview. And any view you can add padding to, and the way it works is you find the view you wanna add padding to. Let me move this down so I can see a little bit more. So we have this H stack here, and this curly brace right here marks the end of that H stack. So we wanna call a method on H stack called dot padding. And it has uh, two values you have to specify. First, where you want to add the padding. So I'm gonna put dot, and there's a couple different options you can select here we want from the bottom. And then you just put the length. So we want 20 points from the bottom of padding. And let me move this up so you can see a little bit better. And you can see there's a little bit more space right there in that H stack toward the bottom, which makes it look a little bit better. Let me go ahead and build and run. And now you can see there's a little more spacing at the bottom. And hey, this app is really starting to come together.